to my channel so the last tutorial i posted on advanced corsets how to make a full scale corset block for advanced people that are advanced in corsets now i had a lot i got a lot of comments that it was not that my lines were not visible the light was not bright that it was like they don't understand because the lines was not visible and because i used a pen and a pencil to drop that pattern and there were, there were lots of complaint so today i'm i'm going to be redrafting that pattern we'll be doing a redraft from the beginning i will try my best to make it as easy to understand as explanatory as i can as possible so you can understand now please note that i, I said it before that this class is for those who are advanced in corsets not just for those that are beginners in corsets i'll also drop a video i'll drop a tutorial on basic corset block that will be for our freshers for our beginners in corset so please do take it step by step don't just rush even when i teach my students i take everything step by step one step at a time you can't grab everything if you try to you can't you even confuse yourself except you don't want to learn it you just want to draft and make the dress but if you want to learn it please start from the basic basic corset so right like i said if you advance in corsets this is for you this is for you so it shouldn't be that difficult for you because you already know the basics in corsets so we'll be drafting from the beginning on this tutorial Now, I said that we'll be needing, the measurements we'll be needing, we'll be needing, the main measurement we'll be needing is how to get our bust size, the cup of our bust, our bust cup. So this pattern gives you your exact bust size. It gives you your exact bust size. So I said we'll be checking our length, the length of our bust and the width of our boss which length is from here to our under boss make sure while taking this measurement that you're wearing a very fitted bra that will lift your bust so i said we'll be checking from here the fullest part of our make sure it's not too long some people they want to cover everything we but we are by taking their tape up to this to their chest line no you're not going to cover if you're the ones that do not like to expose a little then this class is not for you it's not for you so when you make it too long it will not be fine it won't be fine so you check from here the fullest part of your bust the fullest part of your bust yeah let me release my top a little because i think i talked in so yeah, which is here, the fullest part of my bust is here, to my under bust, this is the fullest part, to my under bust, I can do seven, but if I feel that seven is too, will not be too okay for me, but it will be okay too, I'll do 7.5. Yeah, 7.5 is okay for me. From the fullest part, fullest part of your boss, upper bust, which is here, till your under bust. Do not make it to be very big. And I'll be taking the width of my bust like this. From here, this other part of our bust, to the middle, which is here. The last time we got. 9.5 here which is here 
I think nine should work for me. I'll do nine. Nine should work for me. I'll be doing nine. So this gives you your perfect cup size, your bread size. It will not add to it, it will not subtract to it. So I'll be working with the length of 7.5 and the width of 9 inches. Alright guys, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please do so as it encourages me and strengthens me to drop more tutorials. Thank you as you cooperate with me. So let's move to class. Okay guys, welcome to class. Now we'll start off by drafting. I'll be putting down my reference line. If you've been following my tutorials, you will know that I always do this. Before I start any pattern, I put down two inches reference line, which is what I am doing right now. Two inches reference line. Now I'm using a marker pen. So this is our reference line of two inches. Now the next thing I'll be doing is I'll be dividing my paper by two so we can get our front and our back pattern on this. So we'll be using the fullest part of our body to do this. Now the fullest part is my boss, which is 40. I'll be dividing it by four and I'll add two inches to it. 40 divided by four is 10, I'm adding two inches, which will give me 12. I'll do that. I'm still taking it on this other side. From that point we marked, I'm taking another 12 inches. Please note, you can just fold your paper into two and get this, but like I said, this is advanced class. So there are some things as an advanced student or to those who are advanced in corset or in any style shouldn't be doing. So I'm folding my, my paper into two. I'll be dividing my bust by four and adding two inches to it. Then I'll bring it down. So I'll connect the lines. I'll connect them to get a straight line. That will be our middle line. Do the same thing for the back. I hope this is clear now. Now this is our back. This will be our back. And this will be the front of our body. Which here is the center back and side back. And here will be side front and center front. To get the length of, the, to get the length of our dress, I said this is a full scale, not a half scale. Not the mama one will do and I will place to our front half length. Now this is a full scale, which to stop on our blouse length. So if your blouse length is 22, you'll be taking 21. If your blouse length is 24, like mine, you'll be taking 23. Now we take taking 23 for this one. Because my blouse length is 24, so you might not you, you'll be minusing one inch from your two blouse lengths. Just 
know that there will be a lot of markings on this. So that was what I did with pencil and pen, so it won't confuse you. But we'll try, we'll see what we can do. I'll be putting my armhole. This will be my chest line nine. To get your chest line, you divide your round bust by six plus 1.5 plus one inch. That is how to get your chest line. If you don't know how to get it, I will drop a link to a tutorial I made how to get your basic bodice block. I will drop that link. How to get your basic uh, measurements without taking that on your clients. Now I'm putting down the length of my blouse. Note that the front and the back length, your front, your front and your back length is not equal, it's not the same. So now this is my front length, which is 23. I'll bring that down. If you're an advanced student, you should know how to take the, your front, your front length and your back length. So my boss point is 10.5, my under bust is 14, my front half length is 17, my back half length is 15. My front half length is 17, while my back half length is 15. So the difference between my front and my back length is 2 inches. I bring that down here to the back. My chest line, my back half length, which is 15. So my back half, my back full length will be 21. My back full length will be 21. See the difference between my back and front half length is 2 inches. I brought that down, my back full length. My back half length. And my chest line, which is my armhole line, nine inches. So this this is this will be the measurement they will need at the back. Now moving on to the front. I do not want to be skipping a lot on this class, so I'll try to explain in a way that you understand as possible as I can I will try to explain so now I'm taking nine inches for as an armhole or chest line 10.5 as my bust point 14 inches as my under bust 17 inches as my half length I'll connect the lines So these are the lines we will be needing. This is to be the length of our bodies. Now, the next thing I will do, after getting all your lines, the next thing I will do is to impute my neck width of 3 inches. I will do the same thing for the back. 
neck width of, width of three inches. So from there, I will take my shoulder measurement, which is eight inches. I will do the same thing for the front. This is eight inches. So from there, for the front, our front slope, shoulder slope, is 1.5 is a standard for the back is one for the back except you're not sure of the person's your person your client's shoulder measurement you can do 1.25 but when you're sure it's one inch that is the standard so i'll come down by 1.5 so from here from our neck width i'm going to be slanting i'm thinking at the three inches so i'm going to be slanting my tip rule to that our shoulder slope on that same point when you do this you will notice that the like the line with those teeth marked is higher and is longer than the eight inches so you make sure it's on the eight inches then we'll be connecting it So you see, I've connected it. I'll do the same thing for the back. By coming down by one inch from the point we marked. So I'm putting my tape rule on the three inches to show that neck width. Now I'll be coming down to that point to check if I'm getting up to eight inches there. And yes, I got up to eight, in eight inches there. I got up to eight inches, so I'm going to connect it back to our neck width. Hope we are all following. For the back, I'll bring down my shoulder measurement, which is eight inches. Now I'll go ahead to add half inch for the back only because of our back tightening i'll be adding half inch but if you're not going to have a back that tightening there is no need adding this half inch you stop at the eight inches now i'll connect that line to our shoulder slope to the front I'll come out by 8 inch. I'm going in by 8 inch. The same measurement I took for my shoulder. 8 inches. I'm not adding half inch to the front. And I'll connect it to my shoulder slope. So I'll connect it to my shoulder slope. To get our armhole, for the front, I'll be coming up by 3 inches. And from there, I'm going in by 0 0.75. So I'm connecting the 0 0.75 to our shoulder. And I'm stopping there. For the back, please take this step by step the way I'm going. For the back, I'll be dividing what I have here, which is eight by two, which would give me four. From there, I'm going. I'll be going in, going in by zero point zero five. Now, if you're not taking zero point seven five on the front part on the on your front armhole. If you're taking 0 0.5, you're not, if you don't want to take 0 0.75 and you're taking 0 0.5, please, at the back, do not come out. Don't go in by anything. Just connect your armhole from there. So I'm connecting the line, the point to our shoulder slope too. 
and I'm stopping there. Now, the next thing I'll be doing is to impute my round balls divided by four. And I'll be adding half inch to it for both the front and the back, which will give me 10.5. I'll do the same thing. I'll be adding half inch to my bust round bust belly by four. I'm adding half inch for both the front and the back. Now I'll be connecting with my curve row, my armhole curve. I'll do the same thing for the back. I'll be connecting to that point. So this is it. The next thing we'll be doing is to bring down, I'm bringing down my bust apart, that's my bust apex, my nipple to nipple. I'll be dividing it by two and I'll be bringing it down. To my half length. So I have eight inches divided by two. Is four inches my half length to my bust point now I'll connect the lines I don't want this class to be very long for the back I'll leave the back for now. Let's walk on the front. So now I've brought down on the half length, connecting to my bust point, I've brought down my bust apex. Now our dart will be having a dart of 1.5 inches, which I'll be taking the 1.5, dividing it by two, which is 0 0.75, and I'll be putting it on both sides of our bust apex to get our dart legs. So this is it. And I'll connect it to our bust point. Please take it to your bust point. Now, I'll be, getting, I'll be needing my round waist divided by four. My round waist, that's the tiniest part of my waist, not the blouse length. My round waist divided by four is 33. When I divide it by four, I'll get 8.02. I'll put that down, 8.02. And I'll be adding back the 1.5 we took for our dart leg. I'll be adding it back. So I'll be adding back 1.5. And I'm connecting it to our armhole point. Okay. Now the next thing we'll be doing, we'll be bringing down our bust that. I'm bringing down my bust that. Like I said, to get your bust that, what you need to do is the difference between your front and your back waist, which mine is two. My different dif difference in my front and back is two inches, which is from here to here. I'll be adding it to the front. If you don't close this bust that, your dress will not be equal. So that is why you have. I said that your bust and your, your front and your back is not equal. So you need your back half length and your front half length. So now the difference, my difference is two inches. I'll be coming down from the bust point by two inches. Right? Now I'll be taking the difference between the two inches, which is one. Now I'll be going out by the same one inch. Like I said, this is an advanced class, so we should know how to get our boss that and get it right. I'll root from my armhole 
to that point and I'll be bringing it down with my curve rule. You see? I'm bringing it down with my curve rule. So now we've gotten our bust that. And I'll be ruling the line from that two inches. I'll be taking it, directing it to a pivotal point, which is our bust point, a nipple point. So this is my bust dart. By the time we close this dart, the dress will not be equal. The pattern will not be equal with the back. Now, the next thing I'll be doing is, I'll be dividing my shoulder, my shoulder slope, by two. Which is five inches. So I'll be taking 2.5. I'll be taking 2.5 and I'll bring it down. I'm connecting it to a pivotal point, which is our needful point. So wherever you're directing your boss to is your pivotal, your dart to is your pivotal point. This case, our boss point is my pivotal point. So I'll be directing all my darts to the boss point. This is very clear now because I don't want to hear ah, it's not clear. Oh, your this thing is not clear now. I'll be bringing down my neck with my neck depth of three inches and I'll be connecting it with my cobra. For the back, I'll be doing one inch and I'll still connect it back. I'm doing one inch for the back. See the way I use here to I use here to curve my back neck. So this is it. So I'm putting my back neck. Now I would like us to know that for the back side, we might not see, depends on how many you want to minus, you can minus three inches, four inches, five inches, six inches. But when you're minusing up to six inches, just know that that dress is really going to be snatched like and you might not be very comfortable when you wear it out and it will not be like a regular everyday wear or a regular wear you can do that for maybe a photo shoot or um for picture purposes or maybe one time occasions that you know you're not going to be you're not going to be free so i'm removing three inches from my measurements so i can remove three or four inches from my back measurements now, my round bust, I'm removing 3 inches, which is 40 minus 3. My round waist, which is 33, I'll be minusing 3. My round blouse, which is 38, I'll be minusing 3. From it. So here, 40 minus 3 is 37. Yeah. 33 minus 3 is 30. And 38. 38 minus 3 is 35. So this is the measurement I'll be working with for the back. Because we'll be minus in three. If you want to minus four, you can do minus four, minus five, minus six. Depends. 
But before we get to this part, I just want to bring this down. So which means my armhole will not be getting to this point anymore. So we'll be working with the front first. And here, like I said, we'll be needing, I'll be needing my, the length of my cup size, my, the length of my bust, which I said the length will be using 7.5. So from my under bust, I'm using 7.5, which is here. So I'll be taking 0.75 on both sides. You can do one inch if you're a plus size. If you are small, you can do 0 0.5. If you are like my size, you can do 0 0.75. So I'm doing 0 0.75. I'll use a straight curl. I'm using my straight through to bring it down to meet a pivotal point. So this is it. Now the next thing I'll be doing is my cleavage point. My cleavage measurements, the point I need for my cleavage, I can do six or six point five. Let me do six point five. I'll be doing six point five for my cleavage measurement point. From our neck, you bring it down to where you want it to stop. Where you want to show. You can measure it from your neck, which is here. This is your neck bone. You bring it down to where you want it to stop which mine will be 6.5 so there from there i'll be going out i'll be going in sorry by half inch now note that if you want a plunging neckline you're going to bring it down this way so maybe to your underbust you can do that from that half inch you're going to slant it down to your underbust but now I do not want that. I don't want a plunging net climb. So now the next thing I'll be doing is to get our under bust tightening. We we'll have a lot of tightening for this pattern. I think so far you should learn. You should. You must have learned like two. So for our under bust tightening. I'll check what I have here on my underboss. You'll be dividing, you check your round underboss and divide it by four and place it on your underboss point. Mine is 8.25. Then you check your remember that remainder, whatever you have left from that point you marked. You check what is remaining there. Please. From your main line, not the bust line we, do, we drew, from your main line. Okay. Yeah, I have 1.075. 1 1.075 for me. So I'll be bringing down one point. I'll be bringing down one inch here. Now I'll be taking 0, 0, 0.075 on this other side. I can as well do 1.02 and do 0 0.5 here, but it's, it's still good. So I'll be connecting it to a pivotal point. You see that was I was using the pencil, so there will not be plenty lines. But this is good. It's good you are seeing it now. So I'm bringing it to my pivotal point. So this is it. So the next thing 
I'll be doing is I'll be taking the width of my bust, our bust width. Now I'm taking our bust length now is the width, which is nine. So I'll be taking it from here, from our center front on the bust line. I'll be taking it here, nine. From here, let me use ten. I'll be taking nine. And I'll, I'll put it here. This is, this is it. So, if you want to have a high armhole, yeah, like you can raise your armhole by 0 0.5, and from there you'll be connecting, you'll be connecting like so, from there. So your armhole is going to be raised to 0 0.5. You can do that. There are some cassettes you will see, it's raised. So you can do that, it's fine too. It's very fine. But I do not want to raise my armhole. I do not want to raise, so I will just ignore that. But make sure if you're raising the front, you should also raise the back armhole. I won't be raising that. So here, I'll be connecting, I'll be getting a curve from this point. This is our cleavage point. I'll be connecting with my curve row to get my curve. I'm going to into the underboss, just a line. Yeah, we've got our underboss tightening. I'll do that. Now, if you're doing that, you should have a guide that here should be 1.5 or 1.25. Shouldn't be more than that or less than that. You see, I'm trying to get a good curve. Yeah, this is 1.5 so I will use that so this is good yeah. so I'm using the 1.5 I'm using that to get my curve mm. okay before we proceed I want to cut open let me slash open to get access so we can close our bus that our bus that we have to close our bus that because before we connect this other call we have to close it so i'll be slashing open from my shoulder tightening sorry from my shoulder i'll be slashing it open so I can get access to it. So now it's opened. But before that, I want to place, I want to make sure that here matches that this is our overbust tightening this are overbust this is the length I want to be sure that it, it matches so I'm replacing this on top now this is we are we want to alterations since we are just drafting now, we are in alteration. If this can't go, then I have to slash open. I have to cut out the front and the back. I'll keep the back aside. So we'll concentrate on the front. So we'll concentrate on the front. So 
I'll be tracing with my tracing wheel so I can get a good pull. Yeah. So this can guide me to get a good call. So you see, this is it. So from here, you'll be bringing your, you'll be bringing your line down to to a cleavage point. So I don't want to use too much curve. I don't want to use too much curve. So you're making sure you're on the right track. Make sure you're on the right track. Connect it to this point. Hmm? Connecting it to this point. Yeah. So now I'll close this bus. I'll close this bus that. So we can have access. To close your bus that you should know how to close your bus that I'll be picking this side up. So yeah, close that bus that. Now mind you, if you're closing your bus that and you find out that this other side has shifted, please connect it back to the armhole. Mine did not really shift, but I'll still blend. I'll still blend to my armhole. So I will still check to be sure that I still have my nine inch properly placed to make sure it did not shift. So this is it. I shifted a little. So this is it. Now I'll be connecting from this under bust. I'll be connecting it to the nine inch, this nine inches and all the way to our armhole. For our basic corset, you know, we we'll come in by 1.5, so we are that will be our guide. Now, this is not coming, this will give you your exact curve size, like I always say. If you're just knowing this, congratulations for finding this channel. Please subscribe to this channel, like this tutorial, like share comment as it strengthens me it gives me the zeal it gives me the zeal to do more so i brought it all the way so from here we'll be connecting all the way
for me I'll be connecting you see what I'm doing yeah. to that point so by the time we close this dot and this dot is going to match up okay so now I've gotten our ball our boss cup size the next thing I'll be doing is now this is my waist I'll be dividing my waist by three but before that I'll go to my full length here my full length my round blouse hip like I said you're going to measure what you your, what your round blouse hip is where your, your blouse is going to stop mine is 20 38 I'll be dividing 38 by 4 I have 10.6. So I'm putting down the 10.6. 9.6, sorry. Yeah. I'm putting down 9.6. Here. 9.6. So you can add half inch and connect. But I do not want to have, I, don't, I will not be adding half inch. So I'm connecting it with a straight through. Start doing this. Now I'll be dividing my round waist, what I have from here to here, by three. Now, what I have is, I have nine points, zero seven five. I have nine points, zero seven five. I'll be dividing it by three. So, 9.075 I have 3.025 so I'll be using 3 inches I'll be using 3 inches here and I'm taking 3 inches again which is here so 3 inches 3 inches this is where you should pay a close attention at this point from this point please pay attention i divided here by three by three yeah and i'm i got 3.25 i'm adding i'm putting three inches and three inches and here because i want to have a kind of i don't want it to be straight i can do 1.5 or 1.025 I'll do 1.025 by like connecting this line to this point. So I'll be taking it up. See what I'm doing. I'm taking it to the under bust. I'm connecting. Let it touch the under bust. Touch this line and touch this line. So this is it for this other side you can do this let it touch up let it touch the underboss touch this line and coming down if you want to have a measurement for the down you can do that you can divide what you have here and here by two and that is it 
So after doing this, the next thing we'll be doing is we'll take what we have on our under bust to our that leg, not the that leg, to our bust apart. What we have from this under bust tightening to this uh, this um, that leg to uh, the, um, bust apart, which is the four inches. So we'll do the same thing for the, from the bust apart to whatever we have on this other that um, under bust tightening. I don't know if that's, it, yeah, it should make sense. <laughs> now, what we have here is, we have, let me use this one. Right? We have 1.5. We have 1.5. So I'll be dividing it by 2. 1.5, let me, I'll mark it down. We have 1.5. So I won't forget. We see check what we have from, from this uh, bust apart, which is 4 inches, to uh, on the bust tightening on this other side. I'll check what we have here. Here we have 1.025. Here we have 1.025. So we'll be having 1.1, sorry, 0 0.6, 0 0.6. On this other side, we'll be having 0 0.6. We have to divide it by 2. We'll have 0 0.6. Here, 1.5, we have 0.7. Okay. So now we're putting it on both sides of this, our new line we just ruled. On the under bust, I'll be putting it down there. I'll do the same thing for this other line. Now here, we have 0 0.7. So I'll be putting it down on both sides. 0 0.7, 0 0.7. Here, we have 0 0.6. I'll bring down 0 0.6, 0 0.6, here, 0 0.6. Now, coming to the waist side, remember our, on the waist, we'll have 0 0.7 on both sides of our dart, which is 1.5. Now, we are taking 0 0.7 that is on this side, and 0 0.7 that is on this side. We are going to be dividing 0 0.7 by 2. So I will divide 0 0.7 by 2 and see what we'll be having. Yeah, I think 0 0.3. I have 0 0.3. So I'm bringing it down on the both sides. 0 0.3. 0 0.3. 0 0.3. 0 0.3. 0 0.3. 0 0.3. 0 0.3. I'll do that. I'll do the same thing here. 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 So see what I'm doing from there. I'm bringing it down to match up with 0 0.3 0 0.7 I'm doing the same thing here 0 0.6 So this is where you should pay a very close attention at. Now look at, I know you should understand if you're following from the beginning. Now for here, I'll be doing 0 0.1 here. 0 0.1 here. So the dot leg is going to 0 0.1. Very tiny piece, 0 0.1. So from here, I'm connecting to 0 0.1. You know, the, the our marker is very thick, so it shouldn't confuse you. This is 0 0.1. So I think this is clear. The back should not be as long as this, so we are almost done. 
I'm cutting between my marker as my marker pen is so thick. Now, we'll be doing a neck, we'll be tightening our shoulder. But before that, I have to close this point. For me to close this point, I have to get access. I'm, I'll be cutting through the dart to get access. I can close our shoulder. This is guys our yoke. So I'll be cutting in between our first dart leg. I'll be cutting in between to get access to. So now we can close. I'll just close this down. That way we can also To get our neck tightening or our shoulder tightening, yeah. To get that for the front, you'll be tightening by from your neck, the width of your neck, you'll tighten by 0 0.5. So you're bringing down 0 0.5. Hmm? You're bringing coming down by 0 0.5, and you connect it back to your shoulder slope. So this is it. So from there, we'll be extending our neck width by one inch. Do the same thing here by one inch. And you connect it back. Guys, you're almost done. You're connecting it back. doing is we'll be getting we'll blend this place very well and we'll do our yoke tightening we'll be tightening our yoke so from here let me blend let me blend very well first okay yeah this is fine You can still do use your free hand to make sure you're having a good curve. You must not be with your curve room. I think this is fine now. Yeah, this is fine. I'll be using this line. The last one I did, I'll be using it is fine. So after that, the next thing I will do is to tighten our yoke. So from here, from there, from that point of our curve, I will tighten it to have this shape. Like a pyramid. Now, I will cut out our patterns. And that is it for the front.
guys please comment and tell me how interesting this class has been please comment i need your comments it stress it stresses me i need your comments subscribe please please and please and please i'm begging you to subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel please i need your subscriptions please subscribe and also share this class also share to advance students that you know share it to them all my madams in the house please thank you so much i love you all i appreciate your support i appreciate all the advice the comments so i'll be cutting out this Fast forward, like I don't want to move to where I'm, I've already cut out because I know you'll be needing this. You'll be needing, needing it. This is my yolk. So I'll be closing this yolk tightening. I'll close it down. If I don't close it, then I'll cut it out. Yeah, I can close here. So I'll be closing that. Just for this space to be straight, I'll add paper. Just to be straight, I'll add paper and blend it very well. I hope it's good. Now I'll be cutting out my center for it. Same thing for this. So I'll cut out the cup. Cutting out the cup. So, if you want to have a cup styling for this, I'll do that. Yes, I said I was going to do that. You have to cut out first. <laughs> to make sure your nipple point is not bulging, I'll do this to correct something. So I, I just made sure it's not body, so I just blended it 
to get a good curve. This is what I did. I think we have a good curve. I'll cut out the tight, the underboss tightening all the way to our overboss tightening. our label this is with an arrow to indicate our nipple point then I'll put side front center front this is up and this is down this is down so keep this aside this is our center front we keep it aside So I'm crossing out this side. Crossing out this side. I'm still crossing out this other side. So I'll go ahead to label this center front, which is one. This is the middle two, and the side will be a uh, three. Now the next thing we'll do is, you see, when I cut out this other part, it has reduced our curve. So if I don't correct it now, I have to put back this thing that went off here. I have to add it back. If I don't correct that, it will affect our cup while we are making this dress. So I will use a fresh paper. I will place a fresh paper. To make sure they are equal and, re and I will be redrawing my, I'll be drawing my cup. I'm going to place this to make sure they match here. This is, yeah, this will be your guide. Make sure they are matching at the end line. Make sure they are matching. While they are matching, I'm going to tip them down. Here, I'll be tipping it down too, making sure it is matching to the end line. So this will guide me to get a better, a good curve like the way we had before. So I'm going to do this. You can do this with your curve rule. You can do this to get a better curve after you've matched them together.
So yeah, I'm going to cut this back. I should use the short cover. So I've gone ahead to correct that. So I'll be cutting it out. Exactly the way the cord is here. I'm cutting it out. So this is our front, this is our yoke, this is our cup, this is our cup. Now, I'll, let me explain how to get your cup styling. This video is already long. How to get your, bus, your cup styling? You just tape this together. You come down by 2 inches, come here by 2.5, come down by 2 inches and you connect it. I'll keep this aside and we'll work on the back. Okay, now moving on to the back. I'll be dividing my I'll be dividing my my bust now minus three three inches from our bodies for the back. Now what I have for my bust now is 37. So 37 divided by 4, I have 9.25 which will be here and I'll be adding half inch to it which will give me 9.75 here so this is where our new armhole will be stopping and my round waist I've gone ahead to divide my round waist by 4 minus 3 so we have 30 divided, divided by 4 we have 7.5 which is here now, I'll be adding 1.5 for our dart. And my blouse length, after dividing by four, we'll have 8.75, which is 8.75. And I'll connect the slides. So this is it. I'll connect back my armhole to 
where it's supposed to be. Note that this does not change your body measurement, it fits. So this is our new armhole. Now the next thing I'll be doing is Here, remember for our neck tightening or our shoulder tightening, for the front we did 0 0.05 here, we'll be doing 0 0.25, which is here, we'll be doing 0 0.25, so I'll connect it back to our shoulder slope, to our shoulder. So from there, I'm going to take one inch for our new neck width, I'm coming down by one inch too, and I'll connect. Which I will not be using this line, please. I'll, I'll not be using this neckline. I'll style my neck to the way I want. The next thing we'll be doing is to come up. The same thing we did at the front. We took the length of our bust. So from there, I'm taking the length. This is nine. My first, my under bust is, my under bust is 14. So from there, I'm taking seven inches. Okay, 7.5, we did 7.5. And I'm going, I'm running it straight. And from there, I'm going up by one inch. I'm going up by one inch. The back is not long at the front, so we're almost done with the back. So you see what I'm doing? I'm placing my cover this way, and I'm coming in by maybe one zero point one. Here I'm coming in by zero point one or zero point two to connect to this other point. It's going to touch this line. Yeah, you can do that. So I'm placing my rule this way, please. Placing my rule this way. So I'm using this line. Now the next thing I'll be doing is come to my waist. I'm coming to my waist, and I will be dividing what I have here. I have nine inches. I'll be dividing it by three, and I'll place it nine nine. Yeah, three three six, which will be here. And for the down, we'll be doing the same thing. We'll be doing the same thing for the down. And we'll be connecting it to go all the way to this one inch, to the one inch we have above. And we're doing the same thing. Connecting to the one inch you have above. Now, as you can see, at the waist, we have our uh, that of 1.5. Now, that that I'm going to be sharing it, which will give us 0 0.75. I'll be dividing that 0 0.75 on both sides on our waist, which will have 0 0.3 on both sides. 0 0.3 on both sides. 0 0.3 on both sides. And the same thing with like what we did at the front. Here will be one inch, 0 0.1 on both sides. So I'm just going to bring it very close, really, really close with 0 0.1. Yeah. 
The same thing here. Now I'll be going, I'm going to be linking it to this point. If you do not want a back tightening, fine. But we do need a back tightening of 0 0.05. I want this to really tighten. I'll be doing that and connecting it all the way. Oh, that added the half inch back. So I'm doing a back tightening all the way to the neck. And I'll bring it down. pattern wrapping is so sweet. See how beautiful my body is looking. Very beautiful. So now, by the time we finish removing all this our darts, you will find out that our waist is going to be smaller. Now for the neck, now this is the kind of neck I want. You can style your neckline any way you want it. But I want it to come all the way to this point. Okay, I'm using this line. So I'm going to go out, come out by coming out here. So we're going to get to this point. So this is where it's going to stop all the way here. But you, mind you, you can just come down, maybe you take from here, you can just come down to this point to get your yoke. But I want mine to be here, so I'll be having a press button or something here. So I'll cut us a pattern. We'll be making this exact, but not now. You can use this to make the underboss corset I posted. You can use it to make that. That gives you a very nice. Go and check check that underboss corset, and you is what if it's what you want to make. Fine. Get that pattern of underboss for set.
to stop it, I shouldn't go all the way. That's one inch. So you see the back, this is the back, hmm? this is the back, so I'll go ahead to label, this is, center back is one, the middle is two, and this is three, and I'll go ahead to up, up, up. Here, our dart side, we are going to join. Let me put an arrow to indicate that I will be joining our, this is our dart. So, right, this is our front and our back pattern. front and our back pattern. Alright guys, thank you for staying till the end of this class and I hope this is more explanatory for you. Thank you for always coming back. Please subscribe to my channel, share the good news to others to see. Thank you so much, guys. I love you all. Thank you. And please comment. Like. I need your likes. I need your comments. I need your subscriptions. Please subscribe to this channel for more interesting tutorials. Please check out the underboss corset. I use this pattern in making the underboss corset. It will be useful to you. If it's something you would like to see or like to make, please check on the description. I'll be leaving a link to that video. Thank you so much. Do stay safe. Our next class will be on how to draft a corset for basic class. That will be our basic. I'll be making that. We'll be making it. Thank you so much. And bye.